guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Emily, if this is the first time you're ever on my channel, and as you can tell by the title and the location of my video, I am in my kitchen today. I'm gonna be doing a what I eat in a day video. Health and fitness is super important to me. I love having like a healthy, balanced diet. Um, I feel like my body responds to it really well. I have a lot of energy. So with somewhere around the corner, I figured why not show you what I eat in a day to maybe give you some ideas. So if you would like to see what I eat in a day, then just keep watching. And please let me know if you enjoy these types of videos by either commenting below or giving it a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get started with some breakfast. So kicking off breakfast, my favorite meal, the most important meal of the day, I'm gonna have one egg and I'm gonna put a ton of egg whites with it. And then also in there, I'm gonna saute some baby spinach just before I throw in the eggs. It's such a great way to get in your greens. And then on the side, I am gonna have probably two of these Nutri-Grain Eggo waffles. They're the low fat apple cinnamon flavor. However, you cannot taste the apple cinnamon at all. So on top, I'm gonna put some of this Skippy Natural Creamy Peanut Butter with honey. This is so, so good to put on top with that little hint of honey. And surprisingly, these waffles have pretty decent macros. So I like having these in the morning. Sometimes they're super quick and easy. So I'm gonna have a couple of these and let's get cooking. Alrighty, so here is breakfast. This is always a go-to of mine. It's kind of lighter on the stomach, but still higher in protein. This is so good. I will leave the macros on the screen right now. So it's about 8.30 right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this delish breakfast, and I will see you for lunch. Alrighty, so now it is lunchtime, and I'm starving. It is about 12.30. So for lunch, I'm gonna have a can of tuna, and this is from Costco. It's such good tuna. And in there, as weird as this sounds, I'm gonna throw in some pickle juice. Now, pickle juice really helps the tuna not be so dry, adds like a good kind of like layer of like moisture. Um, and I really like the taste of pickles anyways, so it's super good. If you like pickles, try putting some pickle juice in your tuna, it's really good. And then I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of olive oil mayo, just to kind of add some extra flavor. And then I'm also gonna throw in half of this avocado. I love avocado on my tuna. I think it tastes so, so good. It like doesn't taste the same without it. And then on the side of this, I am just gonna cut up this gala apple. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. And there you have it, topped it with some avocado and then some black pepper on top, my cut up gala apple on the side. And honestly, tuna is such a good way to really up your protein without having like chicken on chicken on chicken. If you're kind of over chicken like I am, try tuna, it is so delish. It's chow time. So I am back a few hours later. I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna have a snack. It is 3.45 right now. I just got home. Um, it is Sunday today, so Sunday is my rest day. I don't go to the gym or do anything on Sundays. So I'm gonna have a quick snack, maybe take a little, a little nap. I mean, my sweater does say a nap queen on it, so. So I'm not starving, I'm just a little bit hungry. So I just grabbed out of the fridge some blackberries and raspberries. These are both my favorite berries. They're so good. So I'm just having a little handful of both and I will see you in a couple hours for dinner. Alrighty, so it is about time to make dinner. It is about 6.30. Normally I don't eat dinner till pretty late, but what I'm gonna make takes like 45 minutes to cook in the oven. So I'm gonna start now. So if pizza is your go-to cheat day, as it is mine, you are gonna love this dinner. This tastes like pizza, not not exactly, but it gives the illusion that you're having pizza. So we are gonna be making some zucchini quinoa black bean boats. And in there is included like tomato sauce and some cheese on top. So it sort of gives the illusion and kind of tastes like you're having pizza. Obviously it's not the real thing, but if you can really imagine, it's close enough. It is a good, healthy version. So I will show you how to make it. Alrighty, so here is an overview of what you're gonna need for your zucchini quinoa black bean boats. You're gonna need three medium zucchinis, 
one can of black beans, some quinoa, some cottage cheese. Don't be scared if you don't like cottage cheese because I don't like it either, but you can't really taste it. It's more for texture. And then also need a can of tomato sauce, some Parmesan cheese on top. And then spices include pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, chili powder, onion powder, and cumin. And honestly, if you ignore the spices, which you probably already have, it's really not that many ingredients at all. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with preheating the oven to 350, and then we're gonna start cooking the quinoa. And then we are putting half a cup of quinoa into one cup of water. Okay, and then with these three zucchinis, we're gonna microwave them for five minutes to get them nice and soft. And then we're gonna cut them all the way down the middle like this. And then we're gonna scoop out everything that's inside to make a boat. Alrighty, here are the zucchinis cut in half. This is the before. And here's the after. So I scooped out everything from the inside to make the little boat. And then our quinoa is right over here. It's done, nice and fluffy and steamy. So now basically we're just gonna mix all of these ingredients into a bowl with the quinoa and make our boats. Now that I have the filling, you're gonna to wanna to put the zucchini in a 13 by nine pan and then scoop the filling into it. Alrighty, so here is what the assembled boats look like. This is before they're cooked. They're pretty high, you can barely see the zucchini. I used all of the filling, but don't worry, they cook just fine. And I cook them for 40 minutes at 350, and then I take them out right at 40 minutes, sprinkle a little cheese on top, and then cook for an additional five minutes. Update. The zucchini boats still have 28 minutes, but I am like, I'm starving. So I'm gonna have, just as a little snack, this light and fit Greek yogurt, the toasted coconut vanilla. The flavor is amazing. This is hands down my favorite flavor, and it honestly tastes like a little treat. Alrighty, so here are the finished zucchini boats. I sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on top and it's melted on there. Honestly, this is so delish. And again, I'm not saying it tastes exactly like a pizza because let's be real, it doesn't, it's not a pizza. But it has like the crust is the zucchini and then the tomato sauce is on there with some cheese. And then obviously there's a couple other ingredients like the quinoa and the black beans and stuff. But I feel like it's a decent comparison if you're trying to be pretty healthy. So I have been loving making this. I usually have two boats and then I save the four others for two additional meals. So it's really nice. It lasts for three meals, which is awesome for me. Alrighty, I'm coming to you a couple hours later because I'm needing a little snack. I don't feel like I got enough carbs in at all today. I just did my fitness pal and I'm definitely on the lower end. So I want to snack anyway. So I'm going to have some of these uh, Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp. The buffalo wing flavor is to die for. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you like buffalo anything, these are so, so good. And the serving size I think is like 10 pretzels so I've really been liking these so I'm gonna have a serving or two of these bad boys alrighty guys that completes my what I eat in a day video I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some healthy meal ideas out of it if you did enjoy this type of content please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up so I know you liked it and maybe leave a comment down below letting me know and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you next time bye